So hello and welcome back to one more between Stefan and Tim on Arena actually. Really interesting for me, Stefan of course Arena player, but Tim not playing Arena so often I guess. And I have reason to believe that this game could be an interesting one. We have Koreans against Britons here. Let's go on the maps quickly, see what's happening. And uh, there are some hints to where this game could go actually, which I saw when I downloaded the recording game. But let's find out. I don't know how the game actually is going to end. Mingo forward second gold second stone safe in the back three deer in the back for Tim inside the space which is really nice the third gold inside on the walls forward dish on the side here and the main stone on the other side forward two boars inside wow look at this Tim is going for the boar really early on with two villagers on wood only but it was a really close boar a very interesting build order let's follow that a little bit and see about Stefan's map later because I want to see if you're going to see any extra surprises here for Tim Britons, of course, taking sheep faster. He's got deer uh, close as well. Going to find his last two sheep, probably. House coming up on the left to build uh, the mill, I guess. So let's quickly go for Stefan's map. Got two deer, uh, two sheep, and extra gold in the back. This is open. Second stone safe in the back. Main stone forward. Third gold forward outside. The main gold forward is on the walls. And actually, that's the second gold outside. The third gold even uh, more outside forward here. A boar inside. One deer is inside right now. I guess he lured it in, possibly. And we have a, um, a really interesting map for Stefan. Not sure what I should think about this. But a lot of forward resources. Only that extra gold in the back here. Which, if he's getting rushed, might help. Then again, Stefan is Korean, so we expect a trash for him. Tim is getting a lot of uh, fast food under his TC. A lot of sheep left, six actually. And sheep is what the Britons are taking fast, but of course deer and boar as well. Not sure what is faster actually. Now Tim has been has lured all the deer in and he's moving out to scout the map. Going for barracks at six minutes. What? What is happening here? What is that all about? Going for barracks is a really interesting approach and a mining camp. Is he playing Arabia here? It looks like he's playing Arabia. Are we going to see a trash for Tim? Wouldn't be so surprising except for the fact that he's playing against Koreans. And do you really want to trash the Korean player? Uh, barracks up. We might see an opposement rush like Winchester with Arch Range. Um, yeah, or we're going to see Militia. What is happening here? Uh, we're going to find out. Let's see how Stefan is going to react to this. He's uh, got a very unlucky sheep here behind his TC. That's not where you want to take it. Sending a villager to the main gold line, probably a second. And he's going for 27 population, apparently. Scout is in for Tim. How did that happen? Did he try to follow uh, Stefan and uh, just went through the gate? Stefan does not have loom, so this scout actually uh, is with 3 plus 2 attack now and could take down villages. Men at arms upgrade. And there's the watchtower palisade wall in. The scout will make sure that Stefan cannot really wall this up. And we're going to see men at arms attack in early feudal age while Stefan is still dark age. Stefan can easily wall this palisade gate and he will be fine. Or maybe a house on a palisade wall. But look at this. Tim is moving forward and Stefan needs to move his villagers back because they would actually be dying. Palisade gates coming up quickly but they are really low HP, 400 only and the minute arms are good against those so the palisade gate is going down really fast. Now Stefan is up to feudal age doing loom immediately. Going with the watchtower but Tim is going really aggressive. The second watchtower coming up actually the first inside Stefan's space. Stefan just in case wall on the left hand side and probably needs to watch what's his TC as well. Where's the minute arms? They're attacking the mining camp now. Not really the most effective way to go and Tim is still taking free food of course but doesn't have farms yet. Village is now moving to the left. Yes Stefana was really smart to go there to palisade uh, this but this gate will also go down. Look at this. The men at arms doing so much damage on that only 400 HP gate and Stefan needs to put up more towers. Of course the watchtowers for Koreans are good and even though you don't want to defend uh, defensive trash with Koreans, uh, I guess you will be happy here. I'm not sure what the bonuses for Koreans are right now, but they have one of the best trashes. Another house coming up to lame. There was lame on the main gold, now laming the main stone. Market will be up and Stefan I think is fine for now. Another watchtower to stop this wood line from working. I like this one, but Tim should maybe put a house or something like this here. Stefan can see the tower 
tower and is of course going to attack is trying to trap the villager or at least trap that watchtower yeah and that's it for the tower that was a mistake by tim in my opinion tim is now going with the tower on the market rest the minute arms are they still alive are they doing some damage they're actually trying to open the walls now not sure what that is doing stefan of course is taking the extra gold and the, ex the second stone inside his base is that an extra stone actually Maybe I um, didn't see that correctly. No, I think it's the, the normal stone. And the extra stone is on the left hand side of the map here. So Tim with an interesting early age aggressive play here, but is not able to actually finish it. Or maybe he will. Look at this, the villager is actually able to finish the watchtower. What is happening? No, we're not. Wait, can this villager build a watchtower? Doesn't look like it. He needs to destroy the palisade first. Interesting to see. Fletching coming from Tim now, but Stefan finally clicked up to Castle Age. Tim is doing a market inside Stefan's base, because why not? There's idle villagers, he can go there. And how's the resources for Tim looking? He's really low, 18 minutes in. Doesn't have a lot of food. He did spend food on the militia and the men at arms, but he should have a little bit more, I feel. Well, Stefan is not uh, gonna be up to Castle Age too much earlier, like it's 16, 70 minutes, but it's gonna be 20 minutes in. And Tim is now starting to take Stefan's main goal, because why not? It's there, it's for free, as long as uh, Tim has the map control, he can just go there and uh, try and take as much as he can. So Tim will now probably try and uh, go for the Castle Age as fast as possible, trying to buy a little bit of food maybe, or get the gold that he needs. He has buying food now, even selling the stone that he's gathering from the main stone. Wait, where was that? On the right hand side. Ooh, you mine a lot of stone already. And still taking main gold. Both are coming in from Stefan. A TC on the wood line and a siege workshop. But this one is actually blocking space for farms. Maybe uh, Stefan is considering a house here to get fully vault if he really needs to. Guard tower upgrade for free still without university. So now 8 plus 2 range on those guard towers. And Stefan's back base is really helping out a lot. We'll do a manganel and we'll maybe even go for 30 C. Yes, on the wood line here. So Stefan is going into boom mode now because Tim cannot really do a lot of damage now can really put so much pressure on is tim going for a castle that's the question yes 550 stone in the bank we're going to see 650 any second now either by buying stone but yeah he bought uh, because why not get five villagers forward plus three five more coming in stable on the way we're going to see knights and the woman maybe tim is playing really aggressive here on arena man this wants to make me host master arena six i want to see tim with crazy strategies but it's not gonna happen too early on uh, i was already thinking about it but that's a lot of things happening in 2019 or in early 2019 so um, don't uh, recall me or anything I'm saying here castle coming up in range of the main TC, or the main TC will be in range of the castle. The Manganel is moving forward, but there's the knight and scout waiting for the Manganel, and the castle should go up even before the Manganel is doing damage on the middle chest. Yeah, Tim with a really quick retreat of the wheels, and now going to take down these houses. We're going to see Longbowmen, we're going to see the plus two on the towers, and we should also see uh, the guard towers getting attacked really soon. While we have a monastery up for uh, Stefan against the knights, and that's each workshop, but Tim is putting up more and more pressure. TC on the main goal of Stefan. When have you seen uh, such a game here? It must have been some time ago. A castle coming up from Stefan now completely safeguarding his back base. But there is only so much gold. There is only like not even 1k gold left and that's a big problem for Stefan. He may be able to reach castle if you're in Imperial Age but what then? Warwick in production starting. Stefan in my opinion is in trouble with uh, 12 more villages only. Tim has been playing a really well and this is just an amazing strategy with that uh, tower minute arms rush really early on tim had a good map for that a lot of food in and uh, now the question is can stefan actually like come back from this in a sense that he uh, may be able to break free and go for some gold here because stefan does not have gold left 660 that's pretty much nothing when it comes to 29 minutes in game now there is one long woman in the castle one long woman only maybe tim is saying or was saying, okay, let's uh, pretend to have units in there. No one is starting to actually scout the map apparently, and Tim is starting to grab the relics at the same time. So he's doing really well. Tim 
is clicking up to Pyrrhid. Stefan is going up first, but Stefan won't have a lot of gold left. And uh, now there is 400 plus, like 600 gold available for Stefan here. And he may try to go for trebuchets. He, of course, uh, will need to sell as many resources as possible. Three hard trenches on the way. We might see crossbowmen are blessed or just elite skirmishes against Britain's longbowmen then. Uh, everything's possible. 32 minutes in, 31, 32. I'm not really sure who's standing better, but Tim has two TCs, three TCs up and running. This is not a one TC push. He's getting the second relic and he will be able to get more. And Elite Skirmisher from Stefan as expected. Can't, can't really afford ARPs and probably doesn't make a lot of sense against Britons here. And a few long moments now for Tim in. He's doing barracks, going for standard infantry. Apparently no help here. Even Pikeman maybe helps in a way. And Manganel in as well. We have a lot of gold from Tim. Yes, Stefan's main goal is getting mined by Tim uh, pretty much the whole game long. Halberdier upgrade immediately. Maybe he's expecting like Knights, Cavalier here. This is not what's happening. And there's the first trebuchet. Tim is also going for the trap. He's got a lot of villages forward. He's got a good amount of stone in the bank. Stefan, not as much. The extra, no, the second stone is actually bye-bye. He's got all of that in the bank or invested into towers. Now there's the keeps 8 plus 4 range. But what is that really going to do? Uh, first trebuchet. Trebuchets, two for Stefan, one for Tim. Tim is immediately going to repair the castle. The chest he can buy stone if he needs to. Castle coming out outside uh, Stefan's space, but still covering the main stone and that second gold. The third gold, remember, is quite far outside. The uh, Capra moving forward. Ooh, and I'm making another stair, but can the Capra do the damage? Not enough. A second Capra on the way. Stefan, of course, also repairing the castle, but could, this could get really expensive for him. Only 81 gold. Tim lost the castle, and he's going to lose two trebuchets to that Capra. Him. Good job from Stefano. He's got the war wagons with 3 plus 1 Pierce armor. He could go for more, and then they might even be okayish against the Longbowman with only 6 plus 2 attack for now. Scammon Armor Heavy Plow Handcart coming in for Tim. He's got 99 villages against 96 from Stefan. So we are not fully boomed, but in a very well boomed game, which with a lot of aggression here, Stefan using his back base to its fullest potential can fit a few more farms around, but has even problems to get houses up here. Maybe needs to chop a little bit more wood to um, put some houses down. And now the war wagons and a lot of elite skirmishers moving out against two mangonels, but the cap rams are actually doing a lot of damage. There's the helmet, yes. This could be interesting. The elite skirmishers should be good against the Helvias, but the war wagons need to move back immediately, going towards the castle. The Helvia was a mistake. Tim was trying to anticipate what Stefan would be doing, and he anticipated light key for knights. This is not happening, and like this, Stefan is getting a little bit of an advantage here with the KD for 40 to 18. Tim, in the meantime, taking Stefan's uh, main stone now. Abandoned the main gold with so much gold left, let's be honest. I think that tower uh, going down soon, potentially. Stefan might be get some access to gold. Warwolf coming up from Tim. He wants to take Trebuchet's fight right later on, apparently. He's got another castle in the middle of the map. But now Stefan is trying to break free and is actually quite successful at the moment. Another castle coming up now. Tim is not producing, no, starting to produce Longbowmen. Doesn't have the food to go for any more upgrades like Elite Longbowmen or... Wait, is Bracer done already? Yay. Uh, no, he doesn't have Bracer. Not even that. And this is huge because usually you want to go for Bracer immediately with Britons. Well, usually, but this is not the usual game we're going to see. And now Stefan is getting his chance to try and take some of that main goal. That's 300 left. 1k, 1k, 6 maybe. Not so much either. The left hand side is covered by castles, but that castle from Tim is going down. There's two trebuchets hitting these castles. More siege workshops coming up. And Stefan, a lot of food in the bank. The price is probably really low. 25 is actually still decent, I think. Stefan should immediately try to sell as much food as possible. Now Tim is going for Cavalier. He uh, has the help. is available. He's got Longbowman with finally Bracer done. And Cavalier might be a surprise here for Stefan, who's got a lot of elite skirmishes, but can't really do a lot against Cavalier. The war wagons might be okay-ish, but in the long run Cavalier will be stronger. Rest the stables only now coming up from Tim and Stefan and the score lead in the population lead. Breaking out here, taking 
taking down castles. Uh, Tim is trying to take the gold now from Stefan as well, but Stefan is moving to take his resources. And it looks like Stefan is coming back from hell here, taking down yet another castle. Three trebuchets is going for another siege workshop. And is he doing more elite skirmishes or is he switching? No, elite skirms it is. Elite skirms and siege plus those tanky war wagons. We have Cavalier getting produced by a lot of stables now. Uh, Tim has a lot of gold, but he doesn't have the food he needs and he's housed because he's losing all the castles here. Lead skirmishers to go to the left hand side, try to do some, yeah, let's call it raiding. Uh, over time they might be able to take down some villages, but not so fast. Architecture coming in for Stefan, Pikeman conscription has game armor. He has seen the stables, but now the Cavalier moving in and this might be the deciding fight of this game. 47 minutes in, the Cavalier are taking down a lot of elite skirmishers. They're doing so much damage to the very tanky 2 plus 2 pure armor is enough against the skirmish with only 7 attack and there's not so many war wagons. Quickly uh, pikemen production is starting but is it going to be fast enough? Single pikemen are dying so fast it's a big problem here for Stefan. Needs more barracks in the back here. He should go for more. It's not happening. He got enough stuff for yet another castle but Tim is moving in and this army is really strong now. That's a gold army. Tim has a lot more military units and he is changing the game to his favor once again. Look at this. An amazing fight here. Stefan suddenly in hell. Lost all the villagers on the main gold. Lost the villagers on the stone or maybe he needed to retreat them. Only 78 villagers left at the Arch Armor Ballistics. Plate barring armor coming in to give those uh, Cavalier plus four. Tim lost a good amount of Cavalier but he's going for more and more and more and suddenly you know how strong gold is in this game. Look at this. Stefan suddenly so far behind. And what can he do now? Uh, it's going to be so difficult to um, go against these Cavaliers. There's so many of them. Helmet is actually moving out now, but there is Longbowman with 9 attack against those Cavaliers. Only 2 Pierce armor. And against uh, the Helvetius, sorry. And the Helvetius are actually moving back towards the castle, but Tim is going with the war with Trebuchets now. He's not going to miss a single shot. And he should go for the traps maybe uh, first instead of the castle. Stefan will try to keep this castle alive as long as possible. He didn't build another one, uh, so he has a little bit of stone banked. But uh, it looks like he uh, will have to invest a lot in those three, four trebuchets. Actually, are taking the castle down faster than Stefan is going to be able to repair it. 52 minutes in, it's looking really bad for Stefan. Uh, with a lot of halberdiers though, at least something, so they should be able to get rid of most of those cavalry units. There's light cavalry mix, they are going to die fast. Then again, there is a longbowman, elite longbowman now, fully upgraded at this point. Uh, Yeoman just done, I think. And they're going to be able to take down pretty much everything. A light cavalry will be good enough to take elite skirmishers and elite longbowman behind some trash units, some meat shield. is going to be really effective. Stefan is keeping himself alive. Amazing to see that he's not, not been dying uh, completely to this amazing push by Tim. Look at this big uh, fight here. And now another trebuchet, double trebuchet to take down yet another castle from Tim. This is just amazing. Tim though is population capped on 200 with a 133 villagers uh, lead against 96 taking the extra resources on the map and once he's finished I think he will uh, sacrifice some of those wills. Moving forward with light Cav, and there is not a lot of help in the mix. The elite skirmishers need to move uh, forward against the Longbowman. Tim is keeping his castle repaired doing hoardings, which is going to give these castles another 1k HP. And the trebuchets, one of them went down. I think the Longbowman are even attacking that trebuchet now. But Tim is losing too many of them, and Stefan is showing us an amazing use of. Uh, trash units here, Halberdiers and Elite Skirmishers, but he is really low on everything. Population cap though, 56 minutes in. Tim has 3k6 gold bank with 5 rays of course. Still got 3 castles alive actually. 1, 2, 3 is producing Elite Longbowman. Going with the Light Calf. Has enough gold to go for one more Flood of Cavalier, which he's not doing. He's staying in the Light Calf surprisingly. I think a switch to standard infantry would be deadly now for Stefan because he can't really do anything against it, but it's, Tim is a little bit away from that uh, tech switch. Instead he is going for the Britain's strength, that is the range of the elite longbowman. He needs some siege I think, that's the biggest problem for Tim. He doesn't have siege on the map, on the field. Doesn't have a lot of siege workshops, actually none apparently. And he's not going for trebuchets, so how do you win this without siege? Not sure. Lightcap now moving in to try and take down trebuchets, it's not going to happen. And the castle is still under attack, but Tim is still ahead, it seems at least. Uh, 
like score wise, he's ahead a little bit, and military units wise, the fun is still looking good. But now there's a big group of elite lumbermen, and they're taking down a lot of those halberdiers. The light calf moving in again, and again, and finally Onage is coming up. Onage will be really deadly, even more deadly than the um, champions that would be possible. Four cap rams, heavy scorpions for Tim here. What? Are you seriously? And since when do Britons get heavy scorpions? Was there a switch from uh, AOC to one of the kingdoms? I thought Britons didn't have them. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I need to, to, to look that up, the old uh, tech tree from the non of the kingdoms. If uh, the Britons had heavy scorpions, I thought they didn't. Interesting um, I think to learn here. Now we have a little bit of ceasefire, but uh, with a lot of military units by Stefan. And he's moving out now, but there's the Onages. There's the heavy scorpions. He's going for one push against that castle. A lot of light cap as well. This might be a deciding fight of the uh, game here. Let's go to 60 speed, should be enough. Caprams need to move back. The Onages are doing so much damage. Stefan is not microing his elite skirmishes. And the light cap now with a free path against those elite skirmishes. There's no help. It's around. Stefan is actually calling the GG suddenly. 156 population. But he can see the big group of elite longbowmen on chest, heavy scorpions, nothing he can go against that. And I guess he didn't want to fight. This was a really tough battle, also psychologically, I think. With an amazing uh, attack by Tim, three times actually. Uh, the last time was the defense of that one push by Stefan. He lost so many units in that last push and he would lose all of them. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a very, very special game indeed. Uh, Truth be told, I saw the Men-at-Arms uh, tech upgrade in the recorded game and I downloaded it. And I thought, okay, this must be an interesting one, and it was indeed. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games. GG.